Daniel 2. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. But there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed.
Bible says, out of the ten. Revelation 13. And I saw a beast rising out of the sea, with ten horns and seven heads. And the Bible says, out of the ten would come another nation called the little horn. And a horn in an animal is a way of telling its age. A little horn tells us the animal is young. And so we believe it's a reference to the United States, the only country in the world that is spawned by Europe that is younger than and stronger than Europe and meets the description of Daniel chapter 7. Fingers are separate. and toes are joined only at the bases. Eight weeks marks the end of the embryonic period. During this time, the human embryo has grown from a single cell into the nearly one billion cells, which form over 4,000 distinct anatomic structures. The embryo now possesses more than 90% of the structures found in adults. In the near future, Earth is dominated by a powerful world government. Once free nations are slaves to the will of a tiny elite, the dawn of a new dark age is upon mankind. Countries are a thing of the past. Every form of independence is under attack, with the family and even the individual itself nearing extinction. Close to 80% of the Earth's population has been eliminated. The remnants of a once free humanity are forced to live within highly controlled, compact, prison-like cities. Travel is highly restricted. Superhighways connect the megacities and keep the population from entering into unauthorized zones. No human activity is private. 
AI supercomputers chronicle and categorize every action. A prison planet dominated by a ruthless gang of control freaks, whose power can never be challenged. This is the vision of the global elite, their goal. A program of total dehumanization, where the science of tyranny is law. A worldwide control grid, designed to ensure the overlord's monopoly of power forever. Our species will be condemned to this nightmare future unless the masses are awakened to the New World Order master plan and mobilized to defeat it.